Hey guys, this is Shane Farmer with Dark Horse Rowing and we are talking today about common erg repairs that you might find you need to make on your Concept2 machine. Now, there are a plethora, reaching for the $10 words today, of repairs that you may need to do to your machine. The upside when you are having to work on this is that the machine is pretty indestructible um, and parts tend to be pretty cheap. So hopefully you don't have to experience any of these, but if you do, don't worry, parts are not going to be expensive and you can do the work yourself. No need to hire it out or take it to a specialist. Now, first things first, if we ever run into any kind of flywheel issues, uh, like we're not reading on the monitor, or perhaps sometimes you can get a speed wobble on the flywheel where you start to feel it, the machine shudder, that would mean that the flywheel isn't balanced anymore and we're going to need to get into the flywheel. You would also need to get into there if you wanted to clean or deep clean the flywheel, which is also good to do maybe once a year. So to do that, to get in there, we just need a standard Phillips head screwdriver. I'm actually going to start with this mesh cage. And underneath this crossbar here, if it hasn't been moved before, you're going to find a screw, which you're going to need to loosen. You don't want to loosen it all the way. You're going to get it basically loose, just enough so that you can slide it out from underneath the crossbar. So you can see the two ends of this mesh cage connect together here. I am then going to separate them and I am going to slowly and carefully remove the mesh cage from the flywheel housing. Then you're going to go ahead and finish taking off all of these screws. Track of where the screws are coming from and on the back side of the screws as well. Good. All right. So I've got my face plate off. So you can see this is your basic flywheel. Uh, now again, this thing should be balanced and should be spinning freely and should also be free of dust bunnies. So when you're in here, if you need to do anything, you'll find that you're going to need an adjustable wrench, which will help you to remove this. You'll be able to access the sensor, um, which is what s really measures the speed of the flywheel, measures what's happening with the flywheel, and sends that information to the monitor. So that sensor is pretty critical. But if you do need to get in here, this is the way you're going to get into it. Um, once you're done, make sure you shore everything back up. Always clean it before you close it up. And then you are going to simply take the faceplate and put it back on. From there, you'll start by putting the faceplate on. So you want to make sure that it goes back in the way that it came out so that you have access to it the same way every time. So I'm going to feed it back through. Make sure it doesn't get hung up on anything. Just keep feeding it through until you get back to where you started. Once you're in, slip the two ends back together and then you can go about the job of tightening each screw down just a little bit more. Sometimes you'll find that as you're trying to put it back together, part of the housing might get stuck a little bit on the uh, on the mesh cage which will restrict its ability to go back together but I have no fear I'll just play around with it a little bit and then you're gonna need to slide this guy back to where it came from once it's there grab that screwdriver and finally tighten it down again and as you start to tighten it down, you'll see it kind of snug into place. Once you see it snug into place, then it's time to go back and give your finishing touches to these screws. Bring the whole thing back together. All 
All right, there we go. I knew I lost one of these. So as I mentioned, this is one of the more challenging areas to get into. It's just a little bit more time consuming um, than the other areas, but that's all right. Not that big of a deal. Now, when we get to other common repairs, the only other thing we're going to need is Concept2 has this new driver that'll come with your machine if you buy a new one. Otherwise, uh, you can find an Allen key that will work for all of the um, screws that we have that keep the machine together. And really, there are only eight that you need to worry about. You have two on the top side of the back arm, two on the top side of the front arm, and then four at the base here to keep everything together. It behooves you to just snug them down every month or so, especially when the machine is new. Just come back every couple months, and the more you've had the machine, you can come back in a little bit longer terms. Um, and really all you wanna do is get in there with that driver and just make sure that everything's tight. Because if you lose even one screw, the machine starts to wobble, especially when you're putting a lot of force into the machine. It starts to wobble and it can actually bend the legs on here, which just ends up being a costlier mistake if you don't take care of it early. Okay, So that is what you would need this driver for. You're also going to need an adjustable wrench if you ever need to replace the handle. Some people like to uh, replace handles if they have old style handles or maybe your dog chews this up. I've seen one that was chewed up by a hyena, uh, also pretty interesting. So all you're gonna need is an adjustable wrench. You're gonna remove them from here. You will then pull out the U-bolt and attach the new handle. That one's quick. And then finally, a very common repair that you will find will be either replacing the chain or the bungee underneath. Now to do that, we're gonna break the machine into two pieces. And we're gonna access the underside of the machine here. Now from here we have this plastic sheath which I'm going to remove and that gives us access to everything on the underside of the machine. From here you'll see we have access to our bungee and we have access to our chain. So when you're inside this machine this is where you're going to go if you have to do any major repairs to either chain and or bungee. You're going to need a screwdriver as well as a couple adjustable wrenches um, and that's going to be really your access point. You'll find that you might have to replace a cog or two while you're under there, and it may take a little bit longer. This might be an hour and a half job on a machine, but again, it's still doable yourself as long as you have some very basic tools. All right, guys, those are your basic repairs that you're gonna have to do with the Concept2 rowing machine. Hopefully you don't have to experience these. As, well, as long as you take good care of them on a regular basis, you shouldn't have to do this. This generally happens if a machine has some kind of damage or if it's an older machine. All right, guys, make sure that you sign up for Dark Horse Rowing on darkhorserowing.com, as well as sign up for our newsletter, The Hustler's Guide to Rowing, where you will get our latest blog article and video every single week, bringing you the latest and the best with everything there is to know about rowing. Guys, see you on the other side.